This is Danny with Quad Legs, and today we're going to be building the Caddy battery mount, isolation camera mount, and we're going to be using this to mount our gimbal with. The wood uh, Russian birch laser cut, um, some zip ties and Velcro and sticky, uh, double sided sticky. Um, also, all the square wood is basswood. Body lugs, body support lugs, the leaning gear feet, motor mounts, and the adjustable arm lugs. So let's get started. Put this aside. Okay. We're going to be prepping and we'll get the adjustable heads loosened up here. They're taped on them. We'll need to drill a few holes to prep the motor arm lugs. We're going to mirror them like this if you want all the holes on the same side or in other words all the screws on the same side for like the landing gear. So we'll take our eighth inch bit and we're going to go up about a half inch this way and in the middle this way. And you can measure these out. I've done so many of them. It's I pretty much know where I want them. And then we're going to use the adjustment arm as a bit guide. So we'll put this in and we're going to be drilling this hole here down in this area. And you'll see they're lined up really well. Okay. Then we're going to take our 16th inch bit and this hole here, we're going to drill it through. So you want to keep it relatively, you know, this way and that way in line. If it gets off a little bit, it doesn't hurt anything at all. Okay. So that's it. For, that's it for the prepping. We're going to get the residue out. And again, I'm going to mirror these. So we'll go ahead and do our half inch and in the middle. Get it turning the right way. And again, we'll put our adjustment head in and use it as a bit guide. And again, that's for this hole right here. My drill seen better days. The uh, bits do not stay in like they used to, but I like this drill. And again, best we can this way and this way. 16th inch bit again, and we're going to drill through there. Okay. So this set is prepped. We're going to do the other two, and I'll be right back. Okay, holes are prepped. Let's go ahead and take the wood out. Set these aside. Okay. Now this is Russian birch laser. All, everything is laser cut for it. Really, really good stuff. Um, 
Now you can paint, and this is probably, if you're going to paint it, this is when we, we, we would go ahead and paint. And we, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get it all put together like this. Then before I do the electronics in the next video, I'll uh, go ahead and take it apart, paint it, and put it back together. Now on the wood, and this is for cutting purposes so we get a nice clean cut. We um, have tape on the back and we'll pull that off on all of the pieces. I just wanted to mention these pieces here are fairly, they're not super fragile, but you can break these off if you handle it too rough. After it's put together, um, no problem. But for right now, you know, take care of it. Um, if you would have a problem with it, you can use thin CA, put it back, and hold it really, really well. Okay. Now what we're going to do next is the, and we have a lot of screws coming out here, and we'll go over them all. Really simple though. Got the wrong one open there. These are our body lugs. And I'll show you what we're going to do with that here in a second. What we're going to do with these, we're going to actually glue them together like this. So we're going to get started with that. So you may want to keep uh, a towel here and I'll grab one and uh, we'll get this glued up. And I'm using CA, medium CA on this. And we'll put this together and squeeze it together real tight and hold it for a while. If you have a clamp you'd rather put on there, that's really, really good to leave it on for a while. Pretty simple. Just put them together like this. Clamp them down. Now there's some background noise today. It's right at 100 degrees today. So it's for the purposes of keeping us cool. <laughs> Put these together. Now we're going to go ahead and cut one of these off here, these tabs. You can cut them both off if you want to. You'll have a little bit more room and we'll show you in a second, but you really don't have to. But we'll go ahead and cut one of them off on each one of them. And also, there might be a little bit of flash on these and it comes off really easy. And once you cut these, I like to, you'll have a little bit of a corner here. Right there. And I like to get these cut off. And you can use, you know, a sanding block for that. Or you can actually put it on a table like this. And that works really good. So just be careful when you do it. Okay, these are all cut. These are your side arms, and they're going to slide on like that. Actually, like this. That's how it's going to go. Okay. 
And next is going to be our adjustable motor arms. And they're going to want to be in flush here. And we want them on the outside. So, wrong one. Okay. So when it's done, this is going to be the top. And you're going to have a whole bowl for your landing gear. If you get them mixed up, you just switch them around. I do that all the time. Or you can just want to drill a hole on either side, then you never have that problem. So we're going to do the other one like that. <clears throat> okay. So it's going to wind up looking like this. Now you're going to have some half by quarter in this is our crossover wood as we call it. You want to make sure it goes all the way in. And this is one thing, anytime we're putting a piece of wood in into a slot, we want to make sure it's all the way in. We're going to go ahead and start this one. This is our bottom plate. We're going to go ahead and Turn it over, and this is how it's going to wind up being installed. So, this is going to slide. This is the bottom. We're going to slide it underneath. Only one way to go, so I mean, you can't mess it up. We'll line these side pieces on there. We'll align this, right. and this is the bottom side, and the screws on the outside. And we're going to this way. They'll line up flush on both sides, also. And then you'll see this way and this way. Okay. So we'll go ahead and have our 16th inch bit. And this is only a quarter inch deep, so you're just going to drill, you know, about halfway into it. Just a little bit, and that's just to give you a pilot hole. Now we're going to use 3 8 inch long screws on this. I'm going to use my screwdriver. This is like a number one Phillips head. Okay. That's nice and flush here. It's got that small indention. Now on this side we're going to do the same thing. We're going to push down to where this is flush. And once again, we're we only need to go through just a little bit. If you go all the way through like I just did, no problem. And again, our 3 8 screw. Okay. And then we'll make sure this is flush and this is flush. And we'll do the same thing. Now we can drill into here about a quarter inch because we're going through, you know, half inch square wood there. Now when you tighten these up, you don't have to, you know, they need to be tight, but you don't have to bear down on it. It'll strip it. Um, if you do, no problem. I use thin CA. Just take the screw out. A drop of thin CA, of course you'll have to lift your panel off or your piece of ply off. And uh, on your the hole that you're drilling through, just put a little bit of thin CA, let it sit for a while, and it makes a good set of threads. I mean, it's not coming out. 
Now I know some guys that do that and that's great to do. They just drill all these holes here, disassemble it, which takes a second to pull it apart. Go ahead and put your CA in and put it back and it's a very good method of securing the threads in there. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing here. Next, while we're here, we're going to go ahead and I may have forgot to mention, but you know, this is a piece that you cut off, obviously. It fits in there and the tab stays on. While we're here, let's go ahead and put our battery mount on. I will need to... These spacers are used, we're taking them off. These spacers are used uh, on the tricopter. And um, I normally save them anyway, though. They come in handy for a lot of things. There's going to be a little bit of, of a tab on here whenever you take that off. You can use a knife to do that. Or, you know, use a sanding block again or a file to do that. All the black parts here are made of uh, glass reinforced nylon. Tough, tough stuff. So I'm going to use the, um, we should have got, yeah, quarter inch screws that came with it. And you'll find you have plenty of extra screws. On most of them, we almost double up on it. So, you know, one thing about quad legs is that once you build this, you want to change things up. That's the neat part about it. You can use the parts on another one and design your own. You can make another one of our kits. We give out the dimensions, you know, on the product page. So you can purchase the wood and you can build your own or you can you know pick up some of our uh, expansion kits and uh, you know take them apart use this all the same lugs and you can uh, build something completely different what I normally do on the battery mount um, you can again you know put all the screws in I would recommend and take them out and then um, put a little drop of thin CA in all the holes, the screw holes, let it sit for a while, let it dry and then go ahead and put them back in. Super, super way of doing it. One way that I normally do it is that I'll get some thin CA and just touch it here and here. I mean, just a little bit, it uh, soak it in and make a real, I mean, this is never coming off. It's tight now, you're not going to have a problem with this, but uh, with that, it's insanely forever. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and put our strap in. Now, we're going to wind up putting on our battery a piece of Velcro here and a piece of Velcro here, and then we put the... Uh, opposite on the battery when you put this on the velcro holds it plus this and uh, trust me you'll never have a problem with that what we're going to do here if you remember we drilled through on this piece here so you can put the screws this way or you can put them this way i normally put them like this but a lot of people may want to go through there you can either way you want to go Okay, we've drilled our holes, our 16th inch bit, and uh, this is, we've already completed these, and we've just drilled these, and we're going to use 3 8 long screws. Okay. 
So we'll recap it. These pieces here, um, the ones I have, because I have to use the, uh, you know, kind of rejected stuff. <laughs> Not really. But these pieces here, this particular piece right now is seven and a half inches long. Um, and that's the reason for these little recesses. But what you'll be getting, this is seven and five eighths inches long. And all this is on the, you know, product page. And they'll fit flush whenever you do it. So, seven five eighths, seven and five eighths. This pre-cut laser cut piece here. These crossover pieces are a quarter by half inch and they're three inches long. So, that's where we're sitting now. And I think I used the wrong screw here. I used the I didn't use a quarter inch. All right. And again on the screws, quarter inch screws on the battery mount, um, five eighths, three eighths. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and put our landing gear on. We're going to have a little bit more prep. So anyway, you'll notice that we're using an eighth inch bit and a sixteenth inch bit on most everything. Um, if you're drilling into the um, glass reinforced nylon and you're using a sixteenth inch bit for that, you can go up to the next size, which is a five sixty-fourths bit, if it's too hard for you to get it in there because it's tough stuff. But Usually putting the eighth inch, or I mean the sixteenth inch works fine. Now I normally, you can put these in the side, uh, your motor mount, I normally put them in the bottom and you'll see there's a an indention right here, uh, it's a round circle. When you have it in your hand you'll see it real plain. I just go in the middle and it's approximate but you can see there's a little uh, indicator right there and you can just put it right in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and get these four done. And this is the only prep you have on the motor arms. Next we're going to you know drill some holes into the uh, the Now in the feet, uh, we have one hole that's furnished. Um, the other side where we're going to drill the hole, there's again a round circle just like in a motor mount. And if you go in the middle of that, it'll line it up perfect. Now we'll probably be changing this in the future where we'll have no hole and you'll just drill it yourself. But uh, for right now, if you want to mirror it and you want everything on one side, you'll have to drill a hole in two of them on the other side. Um, now what you can do to make it symmetrical, you can go ahead and drill a hole in all of them, an extra hole in all of them, you know, in that way. But it's up to you. So here we'll go ahead and do this. And again, there's a round indicator there and you just go into the center of it and then put it right in the center. And we're going to do the same thing here. And that's all the prep on that. We're going to go back to our 16th inch bit now. Our landing gear, you can adjust this again. That's the neat thing about quad logs. You can, you know, <laughs> with bass wood you can make it you can have some extra wood and put it wherever you want. Now if you need to get any any uh, extra wood, you can go to your local hobby shop. I, and you can also go to Hobby Lobby or Michaels, believe it or not, most of those carry bass wood, not balsa, bass wood. And it's half by half. And of course we keep it on our site also. And you can order it from there if you need to. Again, you want to make sure that all these pieces are pushed in all the way. So 
thumb. You know, some of it fits really, really tight, so you gotta make sure they're all the way in in a good way. And this is not quite in. If you have to do this, let me show you how tough this is. Tough. And that's a good way to tell that they're where it needs to be. That's all the way in. That's all the way in. Okay. We're going to go ahead and put our landing gear. We're going to have everything facing the outside. Okay. And we're going to move forward. We're going to come back and screw these in. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and lock this in. We're going to put our motor arms on. Once again, we want to make sure it's pushed in all the way. Okay. We're going to get our eighth inch bit. We're going to make sure this is pushed all the way in because you'll see that it moves a little bit there. So we'll make sure it's pushed all the way in. We're going to go ahead and drill this one out. And what we're going to do, we're going to drill through this wood and we're also going to drill through this wood at the same time. So we want to make sure that's pushed in. Okay. Little bit of pressure, not too much. The adjustment arm on top again is going to act as a bit guide. And they go in real easy. Uh, we're going to go ahead. I normally turn it over and use a smaller bit like the 16th inch bit just to clean out the residue. And you'll find that works out real well like that. Now we're going to get our screws here to mount our arms on. And again, you get like double. We're going to put our little washer on. I'll put it in. We're going to make sure all the residue is out of here also. Okay. We're going to put our nut in the back side. We're going to hold that underneath to get it started. And we're going to go ahead and set these after a while. I'm just going to cinch them down a little bit. And we'll set those in a minute. Okay. We're going to get this pushed in. And that's good, like that. Take another arm. Eighth inch bit. A little bit of pressure. And again, it'll act as a bit guide and bring it on through. And you'll know when you go through on the second one. So you're going to do this and the second square wood. on like this. You want to, you know, kind of, you know, even it up between the two. If you'll notice here and here, you know, if you go all the way this way, there's a little gap. If it goes this way, same here. So you want to even it up a little bit. 
and then if you even it or if you make it flush on the sides here of the motor then it pretty much they're like a sixteenth of an inch in but you can push them in so if you make these level here and here on both sides and then this way like I said just move it a little bit in the you know get them in the center you're gonna find it works out pretty good okay so we're gonna go ahead and even that up and again we're gonna use our 16th inch bit Gonna, we're going to use 3 8 screws here. Now, if you want, we give you this to give you a little bit more room, and you'll see that it raises it up a little bit. So, whenever you put these on, you can put them on or not put them on. I'm going to go ahead and put them on on this one. And if we do that, then we'll use 5 8 long screws. And I'm going to go ahead and use those. Now you can glue these on if you want to, or you can just leave them loose. It works either way. Okay. Now I'm not going to tighten this all the way down. I'm going to leave it a little bit loose. And what I'm going to do is go over to this side, opposite, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put this flush, and it should put them both in pretty good shape after you do that. You can move it a little bit there. Well, that looks good. Just take a little bit of time to align it, and then it's done. Again, I'm going to use a spacer. And again, that just gives you a little bit more room inside for electronics. I haven't used it yet. I did it just in case. Um, so, you know, it's up to you. like our alignment is pretty good you know you can still adjust it some I could you know done a little bit adjustment to it but that's good for me we're gonna go ahead and put the motor mount lugs on and again you want to make sure they're pushed all well flush <laughs> Okay, what we're going to do is use our 16th inch bit and make sure these are flush and we'll go ahead and, you know, drill about a quarter inch or a quarter inch into the wood. If you go all the way through, it's fine. It's just going to stop on the other side. And With that done, we're going to use our 5 8 long screws again. You can see how many screws you have left over. You're set up for the future for sure. And we'll finish them off by hand. We're going to 
set the arms to 15 degrees on this one. And again, you can make those adjustments if you need. But I found that 15 degrees works really well. And that's only one click on this because it's in 15 degree increments. So that's 15, 30, if you're running at 45 degree. But we're running at 15. And push down on it good and hard and lock it down. You can put quite a bit of pressure on there. It's putting some good on there. We're going to go ahead and put these in. Then we'll be completing the frame. So, once again, about a quarter inch in. We use 5 8 long screws on all of these. Okay, that finishes up our build, uh, the frame, and when we do the electronics, we'll put our Velcro here, and the next video, we'll go ahead and uh, do the electronics, and then the next one after that, we'll go over uh, mounting the gimbal and getting that all up and running. Anyway, this is Danny with Quad Lugs, and this is the Caddy.